I left home in the UK, I think it was about two o'clock, 2 a.m. and we arrived finally in Iceland at 10.30 a.m. However, due to issues on the flight, I laugh about it now, but oh man, it's quite scary at the time. Um, basically, the pilot landed and um, at the time, unfortunately, we just stopped filming as the incident happened and what happened was we could see out the window as we were going down um, the runway, or what we thought was the runway, basically some black ice. And all of a sudden, the airplane started to shudder. Seat belts faster than women seated at those seat belts sign husbands. Oh. Great stations. And, and then it just basically, I don't know, like skidded. On the yeah, he's on the grass. And then it rumbled, which is where it hit. Um, I was going to say grass, but it's not grass because it's all. Um, volcanic so it's rock solid pretty much so it's quite scary for everyone on the flight we've just skidded on ice and we've gone onto the grass and um okay. yeah well, the ground, the ground crew basically said to us that they watched the airplane land and actually watched it skid. And what actually happened was the pilot took a wrong turn and went down a bit of the, uh, it's not a road, but oh, sorry, I'm really tired. He took a wrong turn in pretty much and went down a bit that hadn't been, um, they don't grit. Um, the runway here, they actually put chemicals down and that area didn't have any chemicals on it. So we're off the plane now, um, it's pretty much stuck in the, uh, in the grass. Uh, they've got to get everyone off the plane and then they need to uh, basically tow it out and get it over to the terminal to get our luggage off. So we're still going to be here a while. Um, we've also just found out that the uh, pilot went down the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Hour and a half in the plane. And then we come into the terminal. The plane's stuck on the runway still, we think, with our luggage in it. And now we're waiting for our luggage to turn up, so we're just basically sitting here waiting. I'm blaming you. Right, okay, the, um, what do you call this thing? Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt has just started, and uh, suitcases are finally coming out. I see a yellow one over there, might be mine. Oh yeah, look at that, we're straight out. Um, so yeah, they're coming out, and it's been, how long we wait? Just in this bit, nearly an hour. Nearly an hour, another hour, so yeah, we're well behind. So I don't think we'll be shooting today. Is that not yours? Hallelujah. All right, that's it, we're heading out, guys. See you in Iceland. Well, we'll see you on the other side of the airport. I've been to Iceland a lot now. Four or five times, I think it is. Different times of the year. We'll help make maps and stuff. Okay. Which should be good. Not in the bank. Not in the back, no. And it's surprising just how much you miss a location. I don't know how you guys feel about this when you're out um, shooting, but there's certain places that, to be honest, I don't know, you get butterflies in your stomach and it just brings it all back. It brings it all flooding back, all the emotions, everything you felt previously, it just all comes back. And yeah, for me, it was like coming home, if I'm honest. Oh, sorry, mate. Why haven't you got your shorts on? Um, I did, actually. Yeah. It is so good to be back here. driving along the south coast and you can see the sun dipping I'm thinking we're not gonna get sunset here a bit disappointed to be honest yeah we end up going to Skogafoss uh, which is a fantastic waterfall and um, the sheer size of the thing and the power of the water coming off the glacier and flowing over the top of it is immense there are challenges you face there how do you pronounce this place I can't pronounce it Skogafoss that's not bad, is it? Yeah, yeah so I can't. Skogafoss. The first one is obviously tourists. It's a really popular spot for tourists, so you've really got to get the time of day right. Right, guys. Uh, day one, Iceland. Uh, horrific start. However, we're here. Um, we've actually missed sunset. 
but we've raced along on the south coast of Iceland and we've arrived at Skogafoss. I think it's over 100 feet tall, amazing waterfall to shoot. So yeah, we're going to go and shoot that now. A lot of shadow in there, so we've got to compete with that. You're shooting towards the waterfall, the spray's coming straight back towards you, so you can't really shoot too long exposure. Right, okay. So I managed to get everything in my camera bag, so if you watched my previous video, everything got in there. So yeah, that was challenging. There's not much snow. Am I disappointed? No. Much prefer Iceland without snow. So I managed to get my sunset, but unfortunately it was in the opposite direction to the waterfall, so... Everyone's shooting at the moment, shooting an amazing waterfall. These two have been standing there for the last 20 minutes, not even got their cameras out of the bag. Right, okay, at the moment what's actually happening is you might be thinking, why are they shooting that way when the waterfall's behind them? If I turn you around... And what we're going to do is just darken this up a little bit for you. Uh, there's actually a really nice sunset behind. Uh, for me personally, it's a nice sunset, yeah, but it's not really doing much for me. The waterfall for me is a shot. But for me personally, I think the shot works really well when you have someone in it. This is going to be like proper David Attenborough stuff, this. And it's purely to show the scale of the thing, because to be honest, if you just took the picture of the waterfall, it's quite difficult if you've not been there before to comprehend the size of the thing. I'll go here. Right, guys, welcome to Iceland. Um, I'm at Skogafoss. This is on the south side of Iceland, and I'm here with Nikon School UK to do a shoot. It is massive. You put someone in the shot, it gives scale. Um, so yeah, it basically paints a picture for you. Are you gonna come in the shot? I thought you were gonna walk in here then. Oh, you ruined it. Anyway, we finally arrived at our location. We're in Vic. Uh, this is right on the south coast, so I think the plan tomorrow is to head out and shoot sunrise. Um, on a black beach with some sea stacks. Um, I'll give you a bit more information about that tomorrow, but this beach here is, it scares the hell out of me. Yeah, this place is so scary. <laughs> Our adventure starts now, so let's go. 